I got on Skype um, for the classroom and I started looking and after seriously one minute I found a teacher who was also looking for somebody to do a weather project with um, which was awesome so I um, connected with her right away and then I also put on um, my profile that I was looking for other teachers to do a weather project with and that same day I got five teachers who are interested um, all over the world. Well, the one big piece we've had already is that we have been partnering with a middle school in India just outside Delhi and uh, what we've done thus far is um, I visited their classroom and I taught a mini lesson to their students on world populations and then our plans are to have some of their teachers visit uh, classrooms here in Houston. And one of the things my fourth graders are working on is elapsed times so we're able to figure out um, how many hours the difference was between here in Indianapolis, Indiana and Dubai. And so now that Skype in the classroom is here, it's really exciting because I don't have to um, work quite as hard to get experts because now there's this lovely database that um, has already built in interested people. Um, so not only experts in the field, but other classroom teachers for collaboration. My favorite ones uh, was when we uh, Skyped as an entire middle school uh, to Dr. Tim White, um, who is a, uh, let me get this right, paleoanthropologist, and he's really an expert in his field. I conducted for Tunisia people about math and science. I you wouldn't believe 120 students came for that class because they were very they were willing to uh, learn because the you know in all universities were closed. I got a uh, connection with the teacher in Kansas and she wanted to um, know if my students could answer some of the questions that her class had about Vikings. It was a huge success in our city. Um, we were invited to present a project in the town hall and so we try to inspire other teachers of English and Spanish to do the same. Everything has been done on Skype and the kids are ready to start performing this play. It's a musical actually. Um, they're going to start performing in ten, ten cities all over Haiti. Um, that's, a, that's just an example of the kind of thing you can do. I mean there are just no limitations as we see it. Basically they created a network that allows teachers of different classrooms all around the world to connect with each other based on educational goals. So I've got a class that's studying, you know, it's like my son right now in his school, he's in kindergarten, is studying water. And so if he could find, or his teacher could find another class, maybe older kids who are doing more interesting stuff or whatever, or more advanced stuff, to share okay. over video. And the teachers can just share, but it sounds like they also did things where the whole class could be on video with each other. This is a big idea for sure. Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. So, yeah. You know. I think for me, this is, the, in my opinion, this is the most impressive yeah, idea right now. Too. It's great for the brand. Yeah. You know, I mean, how could how could Skype come out of this looking like anything but a hero? Yeah. There's there's one in there's Kazakhstan. Skype, yeah. You know, I mean, it's yeah, all over the world. Video, 186 countries, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. so amazing. Biggest solution today. And I love also that it's just, it's using existing stuff. It's exactly what I was talking yeah. about before. We're taking it, we're just going to package it slightly differently. We're going to, you know, re-articulate it and get people to understand it a little differently. One thing I love about this Skype for Teachers project, I think it's a kind of project I wish to do that. Uh, first, for the approach with the client, they say, take a look on that. You don't need to create a need, an, any other new platform. You have the platform. You just need to empower the platform. Skype for Teachers, I think at first blush may not seem like the the most uh, sort of future forward work. Uh, it doesn't have lots of bells and whistles. It's not about its production values, but it didn't take long for us all to see how profound it was that that what they're doing is leveraging an existing platform and re-articulating it in such a way that it could be incredibly valuable to a group of people who may not have been able to apply that tool in that way themselves. Um, and everybody benefits. Skype benefits. They're doing good things in the world. Uh, and they're also promoting their brand, but in a very sort of thoughtful way. Teachers and kids, students, 
benefit from it because their world is a little bit broader because they have opportunities that they might not have had otherwise. And I think the agency world and the world of people who create communications can learn a tremendous amount from it because it's not an ad, it's a, it's a service design exercise, it's building a sustainable system that adds value. Um, everybody wins. The reason why I pick up the Skype for Teachers is and, uh, that has the potential to change the world. I think it's, uh, that campaign is a good marriage of uh, professional ideas by creatives and uh, our social media. It's a quite good combination that uh, such kind of campaign um, will prevail on the whole world and uh, not only education but also projects or uh, pension, I don't know, but uh, anyway, it's a kind of uh, mixture uh, has great opportunity to change the world better and makes everyone happy.